Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to change or spoof your MAC address. Your network card comes with a unique identifier or a number that was hard coded by the manufacturer, making it easy to identify your computer or network card. With MAC address changer, your MAC address is changed or spoofed, making it harder for your PC to be identified. Last summer I used this along with SpotFlux to hide my IP address and MAC address at the same time and they both work perfectly together. And I'm going to begin by opening a web browser. And in the search box, I'm going to type MAC address changer. Next, I'm going to click on the tmac.technidium.com link. And this is what the interface of the program looks like here. It's pretty straightforward, easy to use. And I'm going to click on the Download Now link right here. And then next, I'm going to click on the cnetdownload.com button. And then I'm going to click on the Download Now button. If you have the option to run, go ahead and run. I'm going to save the file. When it's finished downloading, I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to click on the application. When the setup wizard opens, I'm going to click next. I'm going to agree to the terms and license. I'm going to click next. I'm going to leave it set to the default location. I'm going to click next. Here you can select where you want the icons to be placed after the installation. I'm going to leave the desktop icon checked. I'm going to uncheck the last two. And then you'll also select the users that the shortcut will be placed on their desktop. And I'm going to tick current users only and click next. Once it's finished installing, I'm going to click finish. And then I'm going to right click on the icon on the desktop and click on run as administrator. You want to make sure that you're running as administrator when you're running this or else it won't work. Here it shows my three network adapters if I were to highlight one. It will give detailed information down below. That right now I'm on local area connection 2 which is a spot flux network device driver and you can do this for all three of them if, besides the information tag you can also view your IP address information and presets down below under change MAC address if I clicked on the random MAC address button it would change it every time you clicked on it down below I'm gonna leave the box check to automatically restart network connections to apply changes and I'm also going to leave the box checked to make new MAC address persistent. I'm going to leave the bottom box unchecked. And then I'm going to show you this real quick. I'm going to click change now. And it says the MAC address was changed successfully. I'm going to click OK. And then right up here it shows you the original MAC address. And the active MAC address is the address that we just changed to or spoofed. And then down below you also have the option to restore to the original MAC address. And then up top under file. You have the option to export the text report, open presets, save presets, import and export presets, and then associate the preset files to the .tpf extension. Under actions, you can refresh. You have DHCP version 4 configuration options and also the DHCP version 6 configuration options. You can also delete the network adapter from the registry. Under options, there's Internet Explorer HTTP proxy. You can have it checked for updates automatically. You can have the icon show in the system tray when it's running. And you can also animate the icon. You can have it run a startup file association check. And you can also have it show speeds in kilobytes per second. But that's how simple it is. And again, I ran it with SpotFlux over the summer and they both ran perfectly together. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.